Hey guys, it's Light Over Darkness 33. How are you doing today? Today, we're going to just talk at random. Talk, I'm checking my cords. I wanted to go live. However, however, it didn't work that way. Hold on just a second. be right there I hope that's better I don't know I look like I'm in the dark but anyway um so I'm a big old one sorry <laughs> I'm going to talk to you today about angels I'm going to talk to you about how they can help you in your life and not just numbers but them actually helping you in your life in my life, I've always been drawn to angels. Always. And I think it was because of the way I was raised. Um, I think it is. And the way my life went, I think that's the reason too. I'm trying to fix this lighting. Please forgive me. Um, because I always felt like I was alone. And misunderstood by everybody. You know? Because I always, you know, my godmother raised me. And um, because it was a time where si single mothers was not a good idea to be. Um, you were shunned. So my godmother raised me. And as she raised me, um, she raised me like a princess. I think I've told you this before, but in order to get my point, I have to go back over it. So I always had the best dresses in the 60s the best dresses the best tights and socks and patent leather shoes I dressed like I was going to church every day <laughs> I was dressed up and I was not allowed to play in the mud no the dirt no none of that none of that I didn't know about playing like that until I was like about well, and even then, I felt kind of weird getting in the mud, getting in dirt playing. I felt kind of weird about it. Because I know I am not the dirt. <laughs> I'm uppity. <laughs> I'm uppity. That's, that's how I was raised, uppity. So, I would always look down on other little children who did that. I was like, ugh, how can you get in that mud? Ugh. How can you play jacks in the dirt? How can you do that? Why don't you have on a dress? <laughs> I was like, why don't you have on a dress? Why don't you have on patent shoes, leather shoes? Where's your little diamond earrings? Your gold earrings? Why, where's your stuff? Where's your... Who's your mother? <laughs> What's your mother's name? <laughs> and see, all that stuff, it made me who I am. I have a certain way that I like to look. I have a certain way I like to act and be. My, my mother, later on in life, always told me, don't you embarrass me. I never did. Not even today I don't embarrass me. You don't see me on YouTube cussing and carrying on and talking about people like they dogs and fool slapping all upside my face. I'm not that per that girl. Sorry. 
I'm not that girl. I'm someone that likes to look as if I represent God. I don't want to represent nobody who acts lower. I don't want to represent anything that is against God. Now, I'm not no holy roller. No. I am spiritual. And I know that I'm spiritual. I'm a spiritual being. So I believe in spiritual things. A lot of things I believe in, a lot of people do not. Yeah. They're so used to a, a, a pastor telling them what to do, when to do, how to do it, and how much to give and all this stuff. And I can't get with that. I used to get with it because my mother was my pastor. But she did a lot of unorthodox things too. So, in so doing, I picked up on that part of it. I picked up on the unorthodox part, the spiritual part, the angelic realm, where the angels come from. I read up on all this stuff, studied mysticism. Mm. Why can it rain on one side of the street and it's dry on the other? Why is that? Hmm. Things like that, they make me inquisitive. They draw me into research. I am a heck of a researcher. That's what I do. I love to research. And even now, though I don't have all of my brain <laughs> that I used to have before the stroke, I still will find a way to, I ask my husband, honey, look this up, look that up. What does this mean? What? And he'll tell me, he'll get tired. And he'll tell me, can't you look it up? And I said, I'll say, well, I can't find it, you know. But I still have a desire to know why. Why? Why does this happen? Why does that happen? Why are we going through this? What does this mean? And I'll ask God to do two things. To teach me what I need to know as well as teach my husband so he can help me. <laughs> He's like, like, you know everything. I know you know, tell me. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't know everything. But he is a very smart man. And that's the attraction. I'm attracted to smart, intelligent people. Because I love to glean their minds. <laughs> I like to, why? 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 I want to get to the roots. I want to get to that root, honey. So I can know why this happened. Like they were talking about that broom challenge. I was like, okay, that looks demonic. <laughs> Where's the witch that's holding the broom up? I'm just saying. I want to know why. And they said because of the way the axis of the world is now. The way it's land a certain way. I said, oh. The earth does move in a circle. So I guess it's constantly turning. And it's turning certain ways. You know? So I was like, oh, okay. I understand. I understand. It's strange, but... Uh, I get it. <laughs> so, I do that. You know, I always ask. I always want to know. You know, um, it's a strange thing to some people, to for people, when they hear about people who want to know about the spiritual things 
and the mystic things. You can't say that it don't exist. You can't say that. Because when you go out and you get a feeling about something and it happens, that's spiritual. When you hear somebody say something and you've heard it before and you're having a deja vu moment, that's spiritual. Anything that stimulates from the mind is spiritual. Because before you were here, as we see you, you were a spirit. What's a spirit? A spirit comes from within the mind. It's, it's your soul. If your soul had a body, it would be a spirit. And as your spirit, as your soul is your spirit, your spirit is your soul, you can lie down if you wish. Think of somewhere you'd like to go and your soul will travel there and let you see where you wanted to go. You know, I got one of those, um, I don't know what you call it, um, 4D glasses things. And you hook it up to, um, um, you look through it and put your phone in it and watch 3D or 4D um, videos. And I've used it to go to Italy, Spain, Jamaica. It's wonderful. It makes me feel like I'm there. And that reminds me of how I felt when I first did spiritual traveling. Astral traveling. And I was like, oh God, I love this. So I can get that that picture in my mind with those glasses. And then I can lay down and go into my spiritual awareness and let my spirit go there. And I can enjoy that with my spirit. You should try it. It's fun. It's fun to do things that are of God. That's of God. God will let you go anywhere you want to. We're the only ones down here saying, you know what? I sure would like to go to Rome, but I don't have the money. Honey, get you one of those cameras. Put that video in there about Rome and and uh, look and see everything that Rome has and then let Take them all, lay down, and ask God to let you enjoy, let your spirit man enjoy Rome. God, I want to go to Rome. God, I really want to go to Rome. And then be quiet. Yes, right. Shut out. Be quiet. Think of Rome. Think of Rome. Think of Rome. And after a while, your spirit will go there. And it will allow you to enjoy it as if you are there. There's many things that we can do with our spirit. With our spirit. Because we're only dead once our spirit leaves. Right? As if this is a outfit. This is an outfit. The skin. The body. is an outfit. So when our spirit doesn't like that outfit anymore, it leaves. Yeah, you leave behind, you may leave behind your friends and your family and everything, but you get a, you can get another outfit. <laughs> and you can visit them in another way. All this might sound cuckoo, but it's true. It's true. There's many times I remember. My mother, after my, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna let you guys go. I remember after my mother passed away, and I was so depressed. And I was in 
uh, department store and I smelled Yuthu. It was her favorite perfume. I smelled it. And when I found the lady that wore it, she looked just like my mother. And I told her my mama just passed. And that she was wearing her favorite perfume. And it touched my heart. I started crying. So bursted out crying. This lady held me. And told me. I love you. I'm still here. Yes she did. She said. <laughs> she said I love you. I'm still here. Be a good girl. <sighs> and that made me able to go ahead and take care of the funeral and everything I needed to do. So I'm telling you. God is real. Spirits are real. Manifestation is real. All of it is real. Everything you hear about that you don't understand, don't throw it aside. It's just something else for you to learn. Be willing to learn a different way. A way that can encourage your soul and help you to be the person God put you down here to be. Be the person that God made you to be. The reason he gave your body the soul that you have. Find out why. Find out what you're supposed to be doing and do it. That's all I have to say. I hope you have a great day. I hope you like the video. I hope you share the video. I hope you ring the little bell on the side so that you'll be notified every time I upload. And I hope you become one of my angels. Follow me by hitting the S word. <laughs> the S word that allows you to be one of the first ones to know that I have uploaded something, okay? All right. I love you guys. Bye.